everyone and welcome to my bookshelf tour. I'm really sorry I've not had a video up, or at least not one relating to books for the last couple of weeks. I went to film this video last week and my phone battery died. So today I want to do a bookshelf tour. I'm not going to cover every single book, basically I'm going to miss out those bottom three there because they're just a mess. Also not all the books on here are my books. <laughs> Up here first we've got my book beak hippogriff that we got from Harry Potter World along with my The Making of Harry Potter book. I've also got a wand up here, it's blur, oh wait, focus, focus. Not gonna bother focusing are you? Fleur de la Corse wand. Uh, when you open it up let's get some light on that, Ooh, nearly gave away part of my book haul then. Starting up here we've got City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, City of Heavenly Fire, Red Queen, The Rosie Project, which is a signed copy, so I'm going to The Rosie Effect, Darkest Minds, Dorothy Must Die, my Divergent Trilogy, which my boyfriend got me for Christmas, um, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and also the Deathly Hallows. So going down to the next shelf, I've got my cute little dog ornament that my friend got me for Christmas a year or two ago, and there's a story behind this with the traffic cone. We went out and got really drunk one night and we stole some traffic cones and I was wearing one on my head when I went to her house. So that's the story behind that. Then we've got my really old version of the Wishing Chair Collection by Amy Blyton. Um, my children's version of The Wizard of Oz. A Lady's Cyclist Guide to Kashgar. Uh, one of my favourite children's books Babysitter's Little Sister, Karen's Ghost, The Fall of Charlie Dixon, and one of my most loved books, Matilda, by Roald Dahl, of course. Uh, when I was younger, I used to be awful with the spines. Look at that. That's a Point Horror Collection 5. I must have read this one hundreds of times. Inside that, we've got The Cemetery by D.E. Atkins. White Tag and The Fever. Now we've got a copy of what Katie did next. So then I've got oranges are not the only fruit. There, oranges are not the only fruit by Jeanette Winterson, Jane Green's Babyville, The Lovely Bones, Beauty by Louise Mensch. That's a wonderful book. I read that. I think it was last year. And Gigi Snowboards, book one in the Gigi series, by Marty Mockleback. Uh, and we've got Dead Famous by Ben Elton, Regeneration by Pat Barker, The Alchemist by Michael Scott. The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty. The Remains of the Day by Kazuo Ishiguro. Birdsong by Sebastian Fox. The Immortals of Meloa. Um, Metamorphosis. William Travers' Felicia's Journey. Um, Forgotten Voices of the Great War. The Puzzle of Ethics by Peter Vardy and Paul Grosh. I needed that book for my philosophy degree and um, my lecturer was actually Paul Grosh so I'm really proud to own a book by one of my favourite lecturers. Then we've got The Colour Purple by Alice Walker, The Curious Instant of the Dog in the Night Time by Mark Haddon, This Little Piggy, and I'm getting all mink, <laughs> I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings by Maya Angelou, The Story of Muse, um, my boyfriend got me that for Christmas one year, one of my favourite books just because Muse are one of my favourite bands. Then we've got a very loved copy of 1984 by George Orwell. Once in a House on Fire by Andrea Ashworth. The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. This is definitely one of my favourite books. It's a beautiful colour as well. It's very well loved. It, it's close to falling apart. I love this book so much. Put that there for now. Uh, then I've got The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. Uh, Top Girls by Carol Churchill, Waiting for Godot by Samuel Beckett, Desire Under the Elms and the Great God Brown 
by Eugene O'Neill. Uh, King Lear by Shakespeare, of course. Twelfth Night, another Shakespeare one. A Doll's House by Henrik Ibsen. A Good Person of Sir... Oh, I don't know how to say that. There's the copy. A Good Person of... Yeah. Bertolt Brecht it's by. Uh, then we've got Death of a Salesman by Arthur Miller. The Birthday Party by Harold Pinter. Uh, another Brett one. This one is Mother Courage and Her Children. BFG by Roald Dahl. James the Giant's Peach by Roald Dahl. Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator by Roald Dahl. And The Witches by Roald Dahl. That's got me thinking now. I'm not entirely sure I'm a copy of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yes. Um, that's just my boyfriend's book. So we've got Radiohead. I can't understand Radiohead. His music business book. And then his Steve Jobs I might read that one sometime. There's, that one does look a good read. It's going to be a hefty one, though. And then Being Buried by there, we've got one of my favourite teenage books, The Complete How to Handle Grown Ups by Jim and, uh, by Jim and Duncan Eldridge. And a really small children's copy of The Railroad Children, which is very beautiful inside. Oh, it's uh, got book paper. Pretty book. So on to the next row of proper books. We've got Sailors of Stonehenge by Manuel Vega. Gingerbread by Robert Dinsdale. Um, what was this one? Circle of Meditation by Manuel Vega. Manuel Vega, probably. Sorry. Learning to Leap by David Schindler. Uh, that's just a foreign copy of this one, which is Sailors of Stonehenge again. Basically, the author sent me a copy of that to review in both languages because I won a Goodreads giveaway. And then, thanks to my comments, he actually changed it. And then this was the uh, updated copy. The book So Little Time by Sarah Nelson. Getting Away With It by Victor Davis. This was a advanced copy from absolutely years ago that I got given at, I don't know if anyone remembers, Otica's bookstores in England. Right, I've got a... Blood on the Tongue by Stephen Booth. Big Brother, the official unseen story by Jean Ritchie. Um, Storm of Aranon, Fire and Ice by R.E. Sheehan. Almost by Anne Elliot. We Are Pirates by Daniel Handler. Falling for the Wingman by Kristen McHugh. Hillary's Head by Tim Stutler, another amazing book. String Bridge by Jessica Bell. Loved that one too. Then I've got another point horror book from my childhood, which features in it The Window, The Train, and Hit and Run. Um, they were fabulous. And I've got Ghosts of Fear Street 1 and 2. They're, my number one's really fallen apart. That picture there. I don't know how many times I've heard that. Now I've got some of my Goosebump books. I've got loads more at my parents' house. I'm not really sure when I'll have them all on my bookshelf, whether I'll even have any space, but I've got some of them here. So I've got The Snow, The Bonneville Snowman of Pasadena, Say Cheese and Die Again, Ghost Beach, The Haunted Mask, Attack of the Mutants, Go Eat Worms, Say Cheese and Die. It Came From Beneath the Sink, Night of the Living Dummy 3, The Headless Ghost, House Killer Monster, Phantom of the Auditorium, My Hairiest Adventure, Be Careful What You Wish For, and The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight. Um, we've got The Animals of Farthing Wood by Colin Dan. Uh, the Unexpected Wedding Guest by... By who are you by? Amy Carson. Then, what's this one? I think I was given this one. Cutthroat Island. I acquire books from everywhere. I don't even know what I own, honestly. Lost Souls by Neil White. Um, what's this one? The Long Patrol by Brian Jacks. Um, the Hobbit. I've tried to read this so many times, I just can't get on with it. I might try and read it again this year or maybe next year at some point. I've only ever got about 100 pages and it's not even that big. I don't know what my problem is with that book. Um, Emotional Intelligence 2.0 by Travis Bradbury and Jean John, whatever, Graves. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Tickle in a Tango. The Secret of the Fourth Candle, Sweet Valley Twins, Brooke and um, 
Rockstar Mum. The Animals of Fatherhood, Spring Awakening, another pretty little book from my childhood. I really love the Animals of Fatherhood. It's so pretty. Then we've got a little princess. Uh, Mystery of Tally Ho Cottage by Amy Blyton. The Looking Glass by Lewis Castle. Uh, another old copy. And then Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. An old copy again. Then I've got Great Expectations and Oliver Twist. And they're actually not really old. They're from some Charles Dickens magazine that came out maybe five to ten years ago. And I just decided to collect them. But I only ever got the first two. Then I've got Plato's The Symposium. Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. The, La the, the Last Days of Socrates by Plato. The Golden Ass by Apuleius. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. The Life and Opinions of Tristram Shandy Gentleman by Lawrence Stern. The Republic by Plato. The House of Mirth by Edith Wharton. The Theban Plays by Sophocles. Um, Joseph Andrews and Shamala by Henry Fielding. Then... Mary Barton by Elizabeth Gaskell, Romeo and Juliet, Macbeth, A Midsummer Night's Dream, James Joyce's Dubliners. I secretly really hate James Joyce, by the way. He's, he's definitely not one of my favourites. Dombey and Son by Dickens, Pamela by um, Samuel Richardson, Esther Waters by George Moore. Othello, then my Norton Anthology of Poetry, which is a beast of a book. I'm going to struggle through this bottom shelf. I can't bend very well right now because I've still got a bad foot. So I'm just going to scan the camera over and you can look for yourself. I've got dictionaries, I've got children's books. Uh, mainly just children's books and then a few other editions down there, along with my copy of Marley and Me, which I've owned years and still haven't read because I'm scared of crying my eyes out at it. So I'll get my breath back. I've got my Take That hat from last Friday along with the glow in the dark microphone that I got. Then we'll start up here with Twilight and New Moon. I'm not going to copies of Eclipse and Breaking Dawn are right now. So that's a bit of a pain. Then we've got The Secret Dream World of a Shopaholic, Shopaholic Abroad, Shopaholic Ties a Knot, Shopaholic and Sister, Shopaholic and Baby, the Undomestic Goddess and Can You Keep a Secret all by Sophie Kinsella. I actually have most if not all of her books but the rest of them are on my Kindle. Um, Tales of Mystery and Imagination by Edgar Allan Poe. The City of Silk and Steel by Mike, Linda and Louise Carey. Victorian Fairy Tales which is a lovely hardback edition that I won off Goodreads. That cover is beautiful. And we've got Pete, My Story, Chantel, Living with Dream, Richard Hammonds, Jason Donovan, My Story Uncut, Gary Barlow, My Take, Robbie Williams by Chris Heath, Endgame, Burma by Michael Pearson, Assassin's Reign by Michael Arnold, Flesh and Blood by Patricia Cornwell, The Other Typist by Suzanne Rindle, <coughs> those are my voice. Why One by Sherry Cronin, Spiritually Aligned Leadership and Practical Ethics by Singer, Core Still the Warrior by Gary Rogers, Three Little Lies by Melissa Wolfe, The Canary Room by Edwin F. Cass, Casebeer and Linda Casebeer, An Angel from Above by Marfisa and Paul Morabito, Titan Encounter by Kyle Pratt, Arian by K. James Carters. After Virtue by McIntyre. Missing Gretel by C. Page. Ingit Monation by Scott McKenzie. The Movement of Stars by Amy Brill. Gargoyle Hotel by Christopher H. Sartison. In and Out of Step by Christine M. Knight. Visions of Mary by Joseph Richardson. Greek Bonds and French Ladies by Paul A. Myers. The Shadow Prison by K.A. Parkinson. What's that? Parents by Kurt Reichenbaum. The Crisis Leader by 
Gisley Olafsson. To Ride a White Horse by Pamela Ford. Where Are the Songs of Spring by Daniel D. Watkins. Tongues of Angels by Julia Park Tracy. The Boy Who Could See by Casey Williams. Cassie Williams, maybe. Um, Philosophy is a Way of Life by Haddo. Oh, what's this one hidden away here? I can't even get to it. Um, I think there's some sort of joke book that I won from Goodreads. Where did we get to? The Professor of Truth by James Robertson. Out Where the Buses Don't Run by Gus Sanchez. Relentless by Karen Lynch. The Almond Tree by Michelle Cohen Caransanti. Solar Island by Rick Chelsea. Um, Engaging NLP Weight Loss by Judy Bartkowiak. A Child for the Devil by Conrad Jones. Chili Birds by John McGinn. Adoring Addy by Leslie Gould. No One Ever Has Sex on a Tuesday by Tracy Bloom. The Plastic Effect, How Urban Legends Influence the Use and Misuse of Credit Cards. Tales of the Casbah, Joe O'Neill. I Have Not Answered by, I'm not even going to try it, that name, that name just there, by that person. Um, the Firefighter to Heal a Heart by Anne O'Neill. Dragon Dreams, Dusty Holloway. W.B. Bugs Change of Heart by David English. Monkey King by Nathan Tamblin. The Territory by Sarah Govett. From Knowledge to Revelation by Cynthia K. Elias. Death Must Go On by Mac Fletcher. Uh, the Light and the Dark. I don't know who that's by. Virtuous by M.S. Force. The Case of the Hampstead Ponies, John A. Little. Seventh Son by Joseph Delaney. Philosophical Investigations by Wittgenstein. Worries Roam My Heart by Dr. Abdullah M. Jada. Roxana's Revolution by Farin Powell. Stories of Saldia, The Rebirth of Galadrin. And Becoming One by Sarah Obst. Next shelf down. Hostage 3 by Nick Lake. Paddy Clark Ha 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 by Roddy Doyle. Theodore Dreiser by Sister Carrie. Uh, this Strange Cover. Conflict by Mallory Blackman. Um, five Quarters of the Orange by Joanne Harris. The Eye in the Door by Pat Barker. The Nightmare Place by Steve Mosby. Blackberry Wine by Joanna Harris. Joanne Harris, sorry. Mindfulness by Ollie Doyle. The First Horseman by D.K. Wilson. One for My Baby by Tony Parsons. Um, my massive daunting Lord of the Rings book, which has such a tiny font. Again, I've had this year's and I just can't bring myself to read it because it's just terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Um, then we've got Margaret Atwood's Oryx and Creek. Coastliners by Joanne Harris. The Other Berlinga by Philippa Gregory. The Emerald Atlas by John Stevens. Uh, the Love Academy by Belinda Jones. Atonement by Ian McEwan. The Crimson Petal and the White by Michael Faber. Another big book that I am guilty of having because it's such a small font. I've just never read it. I... I really need to get a grip on that problem. Life's a Bitch by CP. Inconceivable by Ben Elton. One Step Too Far by Tina Sesk. Tis by Frank McCourt. I've got a copy of Angela's Ashes somewhere. If not. The Affair by Jill Paul. I Listen to My Heart by Rosemary, uh, Rosemary Louise Gallagher. The Piano Tuner by Daniel Mason. And down on the shelf. Um, Sword and Schwer by Simon Scare, Scare. That's just a fail. We'll just show you the cover and count that one as just isn't coming out of my mouth today. Um, An Instance of the Finger Post by Ian Pears. The Prophecy of Bees by R.S. Payton. The Undone Years by Shamini Flint. Family Likeness 
by Caitlin Davies, um, Hetty Feather by Jacqueline Wilson, Dishonor by Jackie Rose, The Interpretation of Murder by Jed Rubenfield, Black Arts by someone I can't see, The Queen Alone, Philosophy The Basics, um, The Air Affair by Jasper Ford, Starcrossed and Goddess by Josephine Angelini. Oh, this bending. Um, Emma by Jane Austen, God in the Lab by someone. I'm, I'm just going to scan these last few because I'm really struggling to bend this. Lab. I've still got a really bad foot. Um, this video is also incredibly long and it's going to be awful for me to edit. I'll just give you another skim over these shelves. I didn't even think I'd got all that many books. I dread to think how long it must take some people to film these videos. I do own a hell of a lot more books. Some of them aren't on my shelves yet. I don't know where they are, in all honesty. That's where moving house gets you. Everything gets lost. A lot of books on my Kindle. Um, I try to do the vast majority of my purchasing these days on my Kindle. So I don't own a lot of new releases except for a few up there. And a couple of others dotted around. Because they're all on my Kindle. Uh, so much for watching. I'm sorry it's been so shaky and out of breath and this, that and the other. I hope you enjoyed seeing my awfully awful laid out bookcases. I've not got them in any specific order and it probably shows, I'm not going to lie. If you like this video, please click on as messy as these. Maybe yours are messier. I don't think that's possible, but please let me know. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.